Hey, it's Paul Ingram with College Center. Grab your double knife because in today's video, we are covering all of the fundamental movements of the Pical grip on the double knife. Hit the thumbs up button right now, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to the training. First off, make sure that you are doing today's training with training knives. If you need a set of training knives, head over to colleycenter.com, go visit our store, and you can pick up a pair of our training knives right over there. We have a lot of steps in today's training, 28 movements. So make sure to really pay attention here. And if you have to refresh the page and watch this video over and over again until you get all the movements. Essentially what we're doing is we're gonna be doing the movements in the right hand, and then we're gonna be mirroring those movements or repeating those movements with the left hand. We're working all of the basic fundamental knife movements from the Pical grip or the reverse grip. If you wanna see the relative training and drills in the sock sock or forward grip, let me know down in the comments and uh, then I'll go ahead and make that video. We're gonna break down today's drill into four different segments. So on our first segment, covering the most basic of our diagonal and vertical strikes. On the Pical grip, we have our thrust angle one, which is our downward forehand diagonal strike. Thrust number two, backhand downward diagonal strike. And then thrust number three is the vertical uh, downward thrust. Then we repeat the same thing on the left side. Number one, and angle two, and the vertical thrust. Just make sure that when you're on that vertical thrust, that uh, you clear the body here. So you have to, when you're coming down, before you get to your navel, you have to turn out that hand a little bit and get that blade away from you. So that way your hand and weapon can safely circle by your hip without you, you know, risking running this thing into yourself. That's why I make sure you're always practicing with the trainers, my friend. Make sure you have trainers. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three on both sides. This brings us into the second segment, which is our hooking. So we're gonna thrust, hook, and then come back with the horizontal slash. Thrust the two, hook it, come back with the horizontal slash. Thrust the three, drop it, and then up with the vertical slash. Repeat on the left side. Thrust one, hook, and slash. Thrust two, hook it, and slash. Thrust three, drop it on the hook, and then cut up. Okay, let's take a look at that one from the side. So let's put the first two segments together. Number one, our basic thrusting movements on the diagonals and verticals. Second segment is the hooks. Thrust, hook, and cut. Thrust, hook, and cut. Thrust, drop the hook, and then cut. And the same thing on the left side. Thrust, hook, and cut. Thrust, hook, and cut. Thrust, drop the hook, and then cut. Yep. Make sure on that three, on that vertical, that you are not pulling your arm down, that you're dropping your weight and you're dropping your elbow. These hooks is because there was a, you know, resistance was met. Maybe the opponent tried to block. Then you're gonna bring that down and open up the target. And if you only pull your hand down like this with force, and if that obstruction happens to be removed, the opponent took it away, you have a lot of momentum that you can end up running this knife into yourself. So you drop it with your weight. And that way you're keeping yourself safe. The tip of the weapon should not be coming back to you. <laughs> it's supposed to be away from you. All right, the third segment, now we get to work on our vertical and horizontal lines. So we have our vertical upward cut, downward thrusts on the vertical, come across on the horizontal slash, come back on that horizontal backhand, and then we're gonna go one more time on that vertical cut right there. Then we're gonna hook it down and then hook it down. Same thing on the left side, vertical upwards, vertical downwards, across on the horizontal, backhand horizontal, one more time up the vertical, nice and tight, and then hook it down and hook it down. Yeah, so from there, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. For the fourth segment of this drill, it's very simple, it's two movements. We have our high circular number one and our high circular number one on the left side. Then we're gonna bring all four segments of these drills together into one flow drill. Let's go ahead and rep it out a few times facing some different directions.
you want to explore more on the knife, double knife, and the rest of the areas of Kali, head on over to KaliCenter.com. Join my online school where we have a breakdown of all these different areas of Kali. We break down all the individual techniques and we teach you how to train them and develop these skills efficiently. Practice every single day. Be consistent in your practice. Stay focused in your practice. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll catch you back here in our next video.